Uh, hi, uh, good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Somet. I just joined uh, Peramal uh, last year as the global CIO. Uh, before that, I worked uh, 20 years with uh, GlaxoSmithKline. And the reason I'm sharing this is because GSK, we had a very much mature in terms of agile. Peramal, we are just adopting it. So maybe a year of journey. Hopefully through the presentation, we are going to share in terms of our journey and what are our plans for the next three to four years. So again, uh, uh, this is not something new. So pharmaceutical industry, you would see again heavily regulated quality. Uh, I mean, again, uh, long processes. Uh, we have, I mean, again, a lack of relationship with our customers. The customer landscape is changing. And also plus, uh, we have a lower ROI potential. So I think all these factors basically doesn't have the challenges. And we are, you will say, people think we are not fit for agile. But I think gradually, I mean, we have seen this journey. I have personally seen that in the last three, four years happening. So which is, again, looking for experimentations, your shorter development costs, your customer focus collaboration, and how we allocate our resources to just reduce our cycle times, everything, right? So I think, so if you see, uh, when we take on the agile transformation, there are four success factors. First is vision. Right? So we can't say, okay, a company X is doing an agile transformation. We quickly start our agile journey. So it's not like that. So it is, again, related to your vision, right? where the company wants to go, uh, what are our, uh, again, uh, maybe growth levers. So I think vision is quite important in terms of the agile transformation. Second is because this is not a transformation, so there's a lot of cultural change. I think change in culture, so you have to work closely with HR, various functions, to how we define the culture in the organization. Right? So I think that's the second piece in terms of success factor. Third one is in terms of capability building, because once you have a, uh, a vision, you have a, a, a cultural roadmap, how do you develop people within the organization, you hire externally, you outsource, because I think these type of co combination, mix combination you have to put across to basically build that uh, skill set, right? So I have seen that happening in maybe in my prior organization in GSK, like there was a three to four year journey. We started maybe with IT, then gradually we rolled it out to function. It was not an easy journey, I would say, but Definitely, we may be on a maturity of one on a scale of 10, we move to five or six, right? In Paramal, maybe we are at, a, you know, I would say, maturity level three or four at this stage. But in the next three years, definitely we'll reach a stage of seven to eight, right? So that's our plan. And course correction, uh, I think experimentation is the key when you take on the agile journey. Okay, so again, uh, there is no, again, shame or maybe being uh, less transparent. If there's an issue happening, it's an iterative process. So just need to go back to the basics, again, recollect as a team, see where we went wrong. And again, it's a, so again, it's a, I would say sprints, we call it, eight to 12 weeks of experiment. And then again, a course correction. So I think these are the four critical success factors for any agile transformation journey. So again, uh, I'll be covering this slide high level, and then maybe Shubhajit will share in terms of the journey which we had in Paramal in the last couple of years, right? So you could see there are a lot of opportunities uh, uh, for an agile transformation with the pharma supply chain, uh, whether it's a new drug research or preclinical phases one, two, launch, market access, marketing, sales, production, distribution. So each has a potential to deploy agile methodology in terms of uh, implementing any tools, right? So I'll maybe pass on to Shubhaj, you just say the actual success story within the organization. Okay. Thanks, Sumit. So I request to go to next slide. Hi all. So myself, Shibojit, I'm heading the for, uh, analytics and digital portfolio for Piramal Pharma. So I'm showing here that what we have done, and not only speaking that agile, 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 but we have done literally the in on practically last three years, the whole customer journey map to automate it and digitize in an agile way. So if you see in Piramal is morely towards CDMO kind of a business. And in CDMO business, the whole customer journey map is sort of different than the customer journey map of the B2C companies. So the whole marketing automation, customer segmentation, and the marketing, uh, you know, all customer awareness creation, customer lead management, customer lead creation, everything happening through our Salesforce PowerDot platform. Then when the customer get onboarded for lead, then we have completed the whole our sites, global sites to already onboarded on Google, virtual walkthrough platform. So customer can view our sites from anywhere, any part of the world through virtual medium without reaching to the, our sites. 
So it's really help us in COVID time where the, there's a travel ban. So customer literally help these tools to use our uh, sites facilities to check our sites facilities. And, and we have you know, more than 50,000 hits in our virtual walkthrough for our global sites. Then uh, if you come to the opportunity management, we have already input the Salesforce Sales Cloud, where whole opportunity management has been digitized from lead to lead qualification to the opportunity management, all RFP uh, you know, preparation process. And RFP preparation process also, like you know, in CTMO business, RFP is a very critical thing. It's, it's the minting money. So the whole RFP preparation, automation, the collaboration with the multiple functions in the sites is happening all through customer community portal. So customer having the channel for digitization for our customer collaboration on customer community portal to Salesforce. And then uh, when customer onboarded for a project, then uh, customer when they wants to audit our sites, we have already automated through regular, you know, augmented camera. So they cannot, they, if they want to do physical audit, they can do. If they want to do virtual audit, that's also possible. So uh, uh, customer no need to come to our office or our sites. They can log in to our all digital channels to augmented camera and Microsoft Teams or other secure platform. And they can complete the whole audit through the virtual audit medium. And we have done more, more than 50 audits to virtual audit uh, medium till now in all global sites. Then uh, if you see the customer project management collaborations, we have the implemented the whole Smart Seeds platform. The whole customer collaboration, uh, project tracking, project uh, action items, everything now tracking to Smart Seeds. Uh, it is a Smart Seeds global collaboration platform. Uh, it's not even very used in India, but it's very you know, good used in the U Europe and US market. And we adopted the Smart Seeds in a global level. The whole, uh, you know, um, control tower of our, uh, no, our heat map of the, each projects you now getting tracked in smart sheets. And also, we are also getting tracked our time sheets, you know, how much efforts we are giving for a particular project. So that also get tracked in Azure platform. So we can know how much we are giving the RFP to the customer, budgeted or budgeted cost, and how much actually we are putting. So we are measuring the budget versus actual everything on a, on a digital medium. So if I overworked for a particular project, we can build to the customers for the extra work we have done for the customers. Then if you come to the next is the customer service or customer survey feedback. We have implemented the customer Salesforce service cloud. So all the case management, customer query management, complaint management from end to end, we are managing through customer service cloud. And all kind of touch point the customer can give by email or by phone or by our any touch points is get registered in the service cloud and get you know, resolved through the our service cloud platform. Then come to the, the whole, uh, if you see the whole journey, now all touch point has been integrated in our analytics platform is Azure Data Lakes. And in Azure Data Lakes, we have a click sense as a BI tool. Plus we are also using Tableau Einstein platform to all the analytics. So you can see that this is the, one of the example. We have, you know, uh, slowly we added multiple sprints and added the whole customer journey to a digital medium. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Vijay. Well, Again, I think in the morning, various presenters uh, shared in terms of the transformation journey, the cyber security. So I'm just have a couple of slides basically to just share like in terms of what practically we have done in the last one year and what are our plans for the next three to four years. And again, looking at agile methodology, not like a waterfall approach. So I think if you see, uh, we started this journey last year, right? Uh, again, I can share the name. So with Accenture, so they basically gave us a roadmap uh, for the uh, again, uh, for a four-year roadmap for the enterprise, right? And again, you see, we started with 60 ideas. Uh, we brought it down to 30 and we prioritized 29. And we are already implementing three, four using Agile. So we are running a sprint. So that's how we are executing. I think Shubhuji shared some examples on RFP, BD automation, digital supply chain, right? And we will be targeting our manufacturing automation, quality automation next year. So I think already we have a roadmap. Uh, so, and if you see, and uh, like I covered the culture piece, right, in terms of, because we are setting up a digital transformation office, which we have already set up, right? Again, business, a transformation office, we are creating a center of excellence. Uh, we are hiring maybe agile scrum master. So I think this is how we will be doing this a transformation over a period next four years. Okay. And the last one, uh, cyber security, I think in the morning we had something. So again, this is, this was not part of our digital transformation. But again, this is something which can bring down your uh, site or manufacturing site down. We had some uh, cyber attacks in 2020. So I think we put a lot of, again, focus on cyber security last year. So we engaged like PwC, 
or did a like again is some mixed model hybrid model outsource and in house so we have in house experts we have outsource we try to build a hybrid approach maybe take some external references speak to customers and we build this strategy right again we focused on priority area so right again which is like 3 to 6 months of execution so this is how we are looking at our cyber security approach again we have a three year road map uh, we have um, done a benchmark against all pharma companies like maybe they are at a maturity level of 3.4 at a scale of 5 so maybe we are at uh, lesser so we are trying to achieve that maturity level so this is how we are doing a high, agile thing even for a cyber security piece again so these are our next steps again focusing on uh, the critical areas again running short sprints maybe pick up one site uh, do something and then do iteration if something goes wrong so that's how we are doing the agile for a cyber security piece also so we covered in terms of success factors how we have done in use cases within the group as of now so the digital transformation and cyber security which is our focus area for the next 4 years so in terms of how we will be deploying agile so maybe we will have more examples to share in the next one or two years but this is uh, the entire thing which i had to share with you for the last one yeah thank you mm -hmm.